As Election Day draws near, Erie News Now is providing you more about the candidates running for Erie County Executive. And Erie News Now is hosting a debate between Democratic candidate Tyler Titus and Republican candidate Brenton Davis. You can watch it on WICU tonight at 7. It is also airing several times on WQLN, PBS, and you can watch it anytime on ErieNewsNow.com starting on Friday. Expired bulletproof vests, the need to replace worn out police vehicles and Addressing understaffing issues within the Jamestown Police Department is on the minds of many tonight. Yeah, around a dozen plus people talked directly with local law enforcement and civil leaders during a neighborhood safety night in Jamestown. And we have more tonight on what happened. The manufacturer uh, won't warranty these vests after a period of five years. So you have half of the police department that are wearing vests that are outdated. Myself, I wore the same vest for approximately 20 years. So 15 of those years, those vests were outdated. The former Jamestown police officer is pushing to use some of the $28 million from the American Rescue Plan to improve the department, an idea Jamestown resident Doug Champ supports. And I've been a dog person, so I'm not against dogs. Uh, I just don't think that the city of Jamestown and all its needs, especially when you look at equipment that we don't have available to protect and perform the job that the police department needs to do, that a dog park is an essence of public safety. Explain Champ, who thinks the city should restructure their current spending outline. It is not just the vests that need upgrades, but the police's vehicle inventory, with many cars in poor condition, having over 100,000 miles and outdated radio equipment as well. Councilman Russell also asked the officers about understaffing concerns. With a current high call volume, many first responders don't even get lunch or dinner breaks. Ideally, I would like to see um, exactly what the chief asked for. I believe he asked for five more police officers. Um, I, I would like to see that if possible. But uh, like uh, Councilman Dolt stated, you know, the concern is, is that uh, after a period of time, are those positions going to be sustainable? when that money runs out. Justin Gould, WNY News Now. And previously, the city of Jamestown mayor's office held several public input sessions to hear directly from residents who brought up all of those concerns.